Mary Ellen Rio, 61 of Baudette, has been sentenced for a charge of child neglect stemming from a criminal sexual conduct incident involving her husband and a juvenile victim last October. Rio was charged with two counts of child endangerment or neglect, uh, one a felony and one a gross misdemeanor. In November of 2020, Rio's husband, Kerry, was arrested on two counts of first-degree sexual conduct following statements made by a juvenile victim. He was sentenced to 144 months at the Minnesota Correctional Facility in St. Cloud in August of uh, 2021. In the criminal complaint, Rio stated his wife was aware of the contact and had walked in on it and on, on at least one prior occasion, but had not reported it to law enforcement or the victim's parents. Mary stated her husband promised it would never happen again. After this incident, Rio left the victim alone with her husband for approximately one hour in October of 2020. The victim informed her of a second instance of uh, sexual contact contact afterwards, but Rio said that she didn't know how to tell the victim's parents. Uh, In January, criminal charges were filed against Mary Rio. Rio had the uh, felony count of child endangerment or neglect dismissed and received a stay of adjudication for the gross misdemeanor charge on November 24th. A stay of adjudication in Minnesota means that the defendant was not actually convicted of a crime on their record. Instead, they have a probationary period, in this case, one year unsupervised monitoring without conviction. If the defendant abides by the terms of their stay of adjudication through their probationary period, the case will then be dismissed and will not appear on their record. In addition to the one year of unsupervised monitoring, Rio was also sentenced to 30 days in jail or a 60 days electronic home monitoring at her own expense. She is to have no contact with the victim or victims until it is approved by the court and needs to attend counseling sessions with her pastor and provide proof of attendance. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for PageOnePublications.com.